Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your girl, Brain Shanae, and today is my stop for the Hero Voices book tour for Then Only Then When Life Gives You Mangoes by Kareen Geddon. This book came out on the 20th of this month, and absolutely, I just enjoyed it so much. I wanted to get the actual copy and also to support this amazing author. Um, just look at the cover, it is amazing. I loved everything about this book. I love Clara. I did not like her cousin Gaina, all like that. And Rudy, she was very imaginative and had a great imagination. Um, and of course, this is a middle grade book as well, but I really enjoyed it. The cover is beautiful. And when you take the dust jacket off, it's a pinkish color and what have you. Um, but before I even let you um, see my this a great vlog or a vlog that I attempted to do <laughs> while I was reading this book. Um, I want to share with you the synopsis just for you to get a feel of what it's about. So it says 12 year old Clara lives on an island that visitors call exotic, but there's nothing exotic about it to Clara. It's just home. She loves eating ripe mangoes off the ground, running in the rain with her papa and going to her secret hideout with Gaina, even though Gaina is not acting like a best friend lately. The only thing out of the ordinary is that after a hurricane hit, something happened to Clara's memory that made her forget everything from last summer. Sometimes things come back to her in drips, like a faucet that hasn't been turned off properly. Other times her mama fills in the blanks, only. Clara knows those aren't her memories and it's hard feeling like she is not like everybody else. But this summer is going to be different. Everyone is buzzing with excitement over a new girl in the village. She's about to make big waves on the island and give Clara an unforgettable summer. This deeply pugnant middle grade debut from author Kareen Geddon is a powerful story about feeling like an outsider, weathering life storms and letting go. Um, so this book, like I said, I enjoyed it so, so much. And just for it to be a middle grade, that's amazing. I love middle grade and I was not expecting anything like the story that I just experienced. So I hope you enjoy my reading vlog and I hope you all have a great day and stay safe. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae. Today I am on my way to Barnes & Nobles to get up to pick up my pickup that I had ordered. Um, and this is the release day of When Life Gives You Mangoes by Kareen Geddon. I'm also part of Hear Our Voices book tour. Um, so I do have an ARC, but I wanted to get the physical copy in order to support the author. Um, so me and my kids are on our way to do that right now. So um, stay tuned for more, you guys. So as you can see, I made it to Barnes & Noble. So I'm about to head up and go in there and pick up my order. Um, I know that is a requirement to wear a mask. So I'm going to head and go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, so once I get back in the car, I will show you all the books that I that I gotten and we will go from there. <laughs> A successful pickup so now I'm about to head back to my car it's crazy because when you go in the bookstores now it's completely dead which I understand completely but I'm so excited I got my books so I will share it with you once I get back in this car so here is the book this is pretty much today it's the 20th of October and this is the release date of this amazing and gorgeous book by Kareen Geddon and just look at it I love the cover it's so beautiful oh my gosh yes so I'm definitely gonna I'm reading this for a hero voices book tour um I have the arc as you all already know as what I stated earlier um but I definitely wanted to get a, a fizzle copy in order to support the author so yeah, so we have that. And then also, I love this um, author so much. I wanted to read this book um, because yeah, I just love her. But I got her newest um, newest release uh, by Jacqueline Woodson before the ever after. Um, so I went ahead and got this and I'm going to go ahead and read this as well. Um, but yeah, I will share with you synopsis once I get home, but there you go. I've got both of these gorgeous books with me, When Life Gives You Mangoes and Before the Ever After by Jacqueline Woodson. So here are these, and these are both middle grade books as well, if I'm not mistaken. 
so yeah both covers are gorgeous just love this so much but yeah stay tuned for um more you guys i will like i said i will share with you the synopsis and we will go from there all right everyone i am home i have gotten me some mcdonald's and some starbucks because i am hungry and thirsty at the same time um but yeah so like i said i got this book from barnes and nobles and i got this book that just released today and came out today by kareen getton um and i cannot wait to start reading this i'll probably start reading this tonight um but right now i'm just gonna eat and enjoy my kids and everything um I have to there's my little son right there kaden i have to get him feed him and get him down for a nap and get all my kids down for a nap but yeah so i'll be reading this starting tonight and you'll definitely be getting more of my reactions about this book um but yeah so stay tuned for more and i will see y'all later so what's up everyone so i really didn't read anything today like once i got the books and everything and i went to barnes and nobles and i had my mcdonald's and all that i was really tired and i wanted to take a nap like today is so dreary and it's rainy and it's gray i just was not feeling it today um so once i wake up in the morning <laughs> i plan on reading this book because i need to because i want to like I just took the dust jacket off of it and it's pink and everything and look at the spine it's beautiful and it's not really a long read but I'm just so tired you guys I can't like I'm forcing myself to like come on just read a couple chapters but I can't I'm tired and then my two-month-old baby lord he just did not want to sleep last night so literally I've been like napping with him all day and having my kids try to take naps with me my five-year-old and my two-year-old but it just did not happen so i'm like completely tired and drained so definitely i'm gonna try to read this um tomorrow for sure at least start reading it and probably finish it the next day or i might just finish it completely tomorrow who knows um but right now i'm about to put my kids to bed they have their dinner i'm about to get myself together take a shower and go to sleep if my two month old will let me but yeah so i will see you guys in the morning bright and early because that's when my kids wake up literally at eight in the freaking morning <laughs> night y'all hey what's up everyone it's morning finally woke up and my son still didn't want to let me sleep um but my daughter did so well with her classwork today that we're gonna go to the bookstore um yeah here's my big head son but yeah so maybe once i get some energy <laughs> as you can see i'm tired we're gonna go to the bookstore um my husband's gonna come with us so that way i can just take her in there with me instead of have the whole family you know covid and everything but yeah so on our way to the bookstore <laughs> hey everyone we're in barnes and noble i'm with my daughter um, she did so well in class today, a virtual class online, that I decided that we should get her a nice little book as a reward. So we're in the Funko area right now, but you know, as you can see, but we're heading to the kids section. So let's go. Come on, Kiana, let's go. Come on, so we're gonna go get you a book, remember? Put one on my shelf. Huh, <laughs> one, a troll? No, I don't think I want a troll on my shelf. You want this it's one? cute though. Yeah, I don't think so. Huh? Olaf, Olaf, he's cute. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think we need him. This, huh? You got this. I don't think I have Toy Story, but there's a lot of cool ones over here. Ooh, look at this one. Look, look what? Ooh, that's cute. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Got Sally here sewing. That's pretty cute. Going to kids section. Welcome kids. All right, let's see what we got over here. We wanna get like a picture book. Let's check over here what they got on the wall. Hold on, hold on, wait, come back, come back. Come here. Let's look over here on this wall. I think I see one. I know you said you wanted this book. 
by LeBron James, I promise. Hold on, come back, girl. Come here, look at this book. Come here. <laughs> Why are you running every... No, Kiana, no. A book, come here. No, come on. We're trying to get a book, not a Barbie. <laughs> you see some more books? It gotta be a reading book, Kiana, okay? Because we're learning how to read, right? <laughs> That's a classic. There's a caterpillar. Yeah, it's in Spanish, though. <laughs> we can't read Spanish. Come on, we should look at some picture books. That way we know, you know what you're reading. Come on. Yeah, I see. Come on, you gotta listen, okay? Gotta use your listening ears. These are a little bit too... I don't think you can read these yet. When you get a little bit older, you can get into middle grade. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> Get on stage. Oh no, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> come on. You got stickers. <laughs> what is it? Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing a reading though. Put that back. <laughs> yeah, we got some picture books. You like any of the books over here? You like that one? You like that one? about hair and stuff you like that you want that one yeah. you want that book okay hold it so you don't want this one huh I don't want this one here. you want that one no thought you said you wanted it or do you want this one mm -hmm. with the girl a crocodile yeah here do you like this one i like crocodiles. you like this one i don't like that one <laughs> So we decided on these two books, the Peter Nguyen Solway, with illustrated by Vashti Harrison. And then we also have I Promise by LeBron James. So we agreed on that. So now we're going to head over to my section. Maybe I'll get a little, maybe something for myself. We'll see. All right, come on. Let's go to my section. Ready? Yeah. All right, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Camera dot section. This is oh, you found anything? Where are you going, Boo Boo? We're just looking and seeing. We're about to go check out, though. Just want to take a quick peek. Huh? Oh, yeah, Mommy read that book already. Yeah. Oh, so that's A Rogue of One's Own by Evie Dunmore. Okay, put it back. Okay. And then we got, spoiler alert, this is the romance section. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. See you this? have the proposal, the party of two, red, white, and royal blue. Yeah. yeah. Look at this one. Uh-huh, I see that one. Mm. You have me at Ola. Let's see this one. This one, I don't know what that one is. Mm. Go put it back. Romance section. Uh-huh. You want to go to the kids section now or you want to look at the little toys? I want to look at the little toys. Okay. So you got out a book today for being good? Yeah. Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold my hand. Okay. You got to look both ways. Look yep. All right. I'm glad you're happy. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I've gotten to page 50 and all I can say is that Clara... She's very, she, in order for her temper or in order for herself to calm down, she has to count like from one to ten. Um, but like her cousin Gaina, she is annoying, she gets on my nerves. Gaina is just really mean to Clara and making fun of Clara about her, um, not remembering certain things or, or just having, uh, memory. And so, you know, Clara, it just she can't take enough. She just can't take it. And she gets really upset with, with Gaina. And then Gaina is just really petty, where she pr pretty much shares all their secrets to um, Calvin, um, who is who Gaina has a crush on. Um, and so that really hurt Clara. And so she got petty and got even, um, which 
that's understandable, but throughout the community, they knew about what Claire had done in order to pretty much get back at Gaina. And so with that, the whole community is telling her parents like, hey, you need to discipline her. It's inexcusable. Uh, she needs to be punished and what have you. Um, but I like Clara. I can see how she can be very angry. She can be angry for certain things that you know, that has transpired with Gaina and everything like that. And then she also meets Rudy, who is the um, new girl that comes into town. Um, and she's American. And so with that, I think, you know, that is also something that Clara is annoyed about. So yeah, I think that, you know, so far, this book is really good. I'm starting to learn more about Clara. And her, she has a lot of anger. She has a lot of anger um hyped up within her so i'm definitely loving it so far i want to take a break um you can see my daughter and, every, and everybody's just around me just chilling um but yeah so like i said i'm on pa or page 55 i'm on chapter 8 um so so far it's really good this is how far i am within the book so i'm not that far in but it's pretty good so far so i will keep y'all posted you tell me stop nah. why yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, stop. I can't sing. Mommy, you're, you're, you're a bully, no. Mommy. Let me try again, okay? 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Yeah. 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 Say excuse me. Mommy. <laughs> Mom, you're losing your voice. Mom, you're losing your voice. I'm supposed to use my voice when I sing. Mommy, you're losing your voice if you keep singing. No, 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 let her keep singing. Y'all are really rude. I think I sing beautifully. Mommy, you sing bad. That's the problem. She thinks she's sounding good. Mommy, you sing bad. Okay. <laughs> you are really rude. And you know what? You know what? I disown you. No. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, mama's pussy. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? So, as y'all seen, my man, he was cooking up some dinner and stuff. And so. I know I was entertaining my kids, you know, I was singing to them and stuff and they were just being so petty and disrespectful, you know what I mean? Like, okay, my singing might not be that good, but I don't mean, you know, y'all don't got to shut me down like that. I'm y'all's entertainment until the food is ready, you know, but they turned me down. So, yeah, but anyways, me and my husband and my little one, my two month old is up here. Um, we're really about to, like, well, my son, not my son, but my husband's playing 2K right now. I might even show y'all, even like a little peek of what it looks like. It's ridiculous. It's it's funny how my husband is having Caden on his lap and Caden is just watching him play 2K. It's hilarious. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you better not drop my son. Um, but yeah, so I'm still currently reading When Life gives you mangoes i am pretty much halfway done a little bit halfway i plan on finishing it if not tonight tomorrow um so yeah stay tuned for more of that and have a good night and i will see y'all tomorrow which is thursday so see ya but wait before i go i wanted to give you an update on the book so i am loving rudy the character um she's very adventurous um very funny i love her very much she has a great imagination and i think clara is starting to like rudy as well um but, and then also there's this mystery of what happened um with clara the last summer or the last year that she does not remember and so literally i'm just guessing what that could be because she doesn't remember and no one is speaking of what happened that last summer that last year um i'm thinking it has something to do with water because she's not surfing anymore really like that i'm, I'm assuming but i don't know I don't know if it was like a hurricane or anything like that, but I have a feeling it has something to do with water. That's just one of my thoughts. I'm not sure if I'm right or, or wrong or whatever, but yeah, so it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. All I can say is Claire does not like her cousin, which like I said, is her, her best friend, but also her cousin. 
and she just cannot stand uh, Gaina at all. But yeah, so that is my update and this is officially where I say goodnight to y'all. So good night. morning everyone it is thursday is it yeah it's thursday i had just went to my appointment everything's good i'm sorry my son kaden my little one is in the back so if he starts crying that's the noise in the back but um everything went well i just went and stopped at starbucks i got me um I got me two drinks because <laughs> i'm gonna need all the energy energy i need for today so literally i got the um pumpkin the pumpkin spice latte venti and then i got the cookie crumble um venti size of frappuccino so yeah so i don't know what's wrong with me but oh well you know and you know since i'm also have like the member stuff or whatever i always just scan my phone so i get points for it so you know it's still good even though i got two drinks but it is what it is i'll show y'all right here what i got so as proof that i'm not kidding you i have two starbucks drinks <laughs> So I kid you not, I have two Starbucks drinks. This is the cookie crumble <laughs> venti frappuccino and this is the venti uh, pumpkin spice latte. So yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah, I just got two. Don't, you know, don't judge me, but it's, it's one of them days I could feel it in my bones with all my kids, my husband's home, all that. I, yeah, I'm gonna need all, all the energy coming my way. So that's why I got two of them and I'm about to like, kill them right now because <laughs> i need it i need my my caffeine for today but as i'm killing my caffeine drinks right now and just about to drink them up i did bring my book with me just to pretty much read and stuff like that um i'm pretty much halfway through it's really good and i will definitely definitely keep y'all updated but i feel like i'll definitely i will be finishing this book today so yes so yeah 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 <laughs> All right, y'all, so here's the thing. I came back home after the appointment and everything. Um, everybody got dressed, got their showers and everything. Now we're out here getting food because we're hungry. So the kids, as you can see, we waiting for our steak and shake, or at least for the kids, they can shake their food. And then me and my husband, we're about to go to Hibachi and get some Japanese food. So literally that's where we are right now in the car, chilling. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi. Oh, about to get some food now. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Me too. Bye. Got food, but I was like, okay, he just coughed. That sort of ooh, got me a little scared. But anyway, we're about to get some hibachi. Bye. All right, y'all. I am home. We got our food. Um, the kids ate in the car. They got their steak and shake. Me and my husband about to eat. After we eat, we're going to chill. And then I'm going to finish reading this book right here. So, yeah. And then I got my mail and everything. So now we just gonna chill and eat and read. So I'll see y'all soon. Oh, that's bright. Job line, my son. No. He looks so handsome, don't he? After his little nap. Okay, then you gonna smile. Kind of sort of halfway. You gonna smile? Oh no. <laughs> hey y'all, so just woke up from an amazing nap after having some Japanese food. I admit um, I had the itis. If you don't understand that, it's, it's, yeah, I just had the itis where literally after I ate, I had to sleep, I had to take a nap. And you know, my little boy right here, <laughs> he also took a nap as well. So I feel like me, him, and my husband, we're gonna be up tonight because we were like, dang, we took a nap, we are gonna be up tonight. So he's like, you wanna play 2K and, I, and you read? I'm like, cool, sounds like a plan. 
so yeah so we literally just woke up from taking a nap my husband is giving the kids a bath right now and getting them ready to go to bed say hi Kaden um but yeah so I'll be finishing up reading when life gives you mangoes I'm loving it I love Clara do not like Dana no 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 I love Rudy though love her though um but yeah so stay tuned for more of what I of my final thoughts for this amazing debut book by Kareen Geddon Okay, y'all, so I got to a certain part of the book, and my mind is blown right now. Um, I'm starting to understand or have a better understanding of Clara and why she's having a hard time remembering what happened that last year, the last summer. And she's finally able to meet her uncle that is pretty much has been hiding for the majority of his life um, because of the pastor Brown. And his rumors and all that about Eldorath, which is uh, Clara's uncle's name. And so he he's talking about, yeah, Clara, you're just like me. Um, you see dead people. You see ghosts. And I'm like, what? This took a turn that I was not expecting. Um, but and all of this is coming to light and it's starting to make sense. And then when um, he also mentions Gaina, which is like... Clara's friend best friend her cousin in a way and he, literally it states here so tell me what happened to Gaina how did she die and I'm like what I thought she was alive this entire time so this is just like like seriously my mind is blown but I'm gonna continue reading I'm on page 149 so I'm pretty much about to finish up but yeah mine is blown and I'm definitely got to read more to figure out what the heck is going on so i have finished the book and all i can say is wow i wasn't expecting a lot of things that had happened closer to the end of this book but i know that some of the themes within this book deal with letting go and starting fresh and to pretty much bring up things that have happened in your past that you haven't let go um but overall this book was amazing i have no complaints i definitely recommend it to anybody who's interested in like middle grade and also and and just also anybody that pretty much like books dealing with uh little islands and all that and also it deals with hurricanes too which i think also brought up a lot of things um that had come to pass with clara and also with um her uncle Eldoroth. um but overall like i said it was a great read I recommend it extremely um a lot of stuff happened like I said that I was not expecting I was just guessing and it like I said it had blown my mind but overall love the book recommend it and I have no complaints so I am ending this vlog and I am going to go to bed so have a wonderful evening everyone see ya